WTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament and Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. Tonight we pray the litany of the most sacred heart of Jesus for the cardinals as they prepare for the conclave, that they may enjoy the special presence and guidance of the heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us, Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. 
heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit and the womb of the Virgin Mary. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, vessel of justice and love. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of the divinity. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and abounding in mercy. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, rich unto all who call upon thee. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, filled with reproaches. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, made obedient unto death. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, our life and our resurrection. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, our peace and our reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who hope in thee. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Gracious Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Have Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make our hearts Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, consider the heart of thy well-beloved Son and the praises and satisfaction he offers thee in the name of sinners. Appeased by worthy homage, pardon those who implore thy mercy. In the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. God has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, 
be reconciled to God. Verbum Domini. And so this evening it's appropriate that we are praying for the cardinals as they prepare for the conclave to elect our next Holy Father to lead the church. And I read today's second reading from Mass today in most parishes where St. Paul speaks of us being ambassadors for Christ that we are ministers of reconciliation, ministers of his mercy. And so that is the role of those who lead the church, who guide the church, to be those ministers of reconciliation and mercy. And when we think also of the gospel today from Luke chapter 15 of the prodigal son, the merciful father, we remember that mercy was very often a theme in our Lord's own preaching. That he told the parable of the merciful father, the prodigal son, of the good Samaritan, of the good shepherd who goes in search of the lost sheep. And then he also contrasted it with the parable of the merciless official who was forgiven a huge debt and yet wouldn't be merciful to someone who owed him just a small fraction of that. And so, so we see that it was a continual theme in his own preaching and certainly in his own lifestyle, in his own attendance and his care for those who were destitute and in need. There's a remarkable little uh, short film that I watched a couple of days ago. 20 million people have watched this little 20-some minute film that's actually going to be made into a feature-length film. And you can watch the entire thing for free on, on the internet. It's called The Butterfly Circus. And one of the actors in this a little short film, which has won numerous short film awards. One of them is Eduardo Verastegui, who also was in the, the movie Bella, and some other people who have, uh, are somewhat notable in uh, their acting careers. But it's a story about people who were lost and yet were found along the way. And Eduardo plays a showman of this circus who finds a man who was continually getting into drunken ball, brawls, a woman who was a prostitute, an old man who was abandoned on the street. But the center of this film is a man named Will who was a carnival sideshow because he was born without arms or legs. And the man who plays this, actually, his name is Nick Fulgici, actually was born without arms or legs. And he's a Christian evangelist. He's been on many talk shows, popular talk shows, talking about his own faith and his own resilience and being able to rise above, obviously, a tremendous challenge without arms or legs to make it in society. But the movie brings out the point that, and I encourage you to watch it if you have the opportunity, The Butterfly Circus, you'll find out why, why it's called Butterfly at the end. But it brings out how there's a dignity in every person no matter what their situation, no matter what the troubles in their life, no matter what the handicaps that they may have in their life or the sins that they might have wallowed into, that mercy wants to restore them, that mercy sees the value of that person 
and wants to raise them up to their God-given dignity. And so that's what mercy does. It recognizes the dignity of the person. It makes that person feel restored, found again. Mercy is what makes true conversion possible. That we can try to force people to change, to do what they ought to do. But it is mercy that makes true conversion possible, that draws out of them the desire to be good, so that they're motivated not by fear, but by love. And when Pope uh, John Paul II, now blessed Pope John Paul II, wrote an encyclical on the Eternal Father, the Merciful Father, he used the parable of the prodigal son to illustrate the mercy of the Father. And he said, through his lifestyle and through his actions, Jesus revealed that love is present in the world in which we live an effective love, a love that addresses itself to man. And so we experience that, that love is at work in the world, that we experience his grace, his assistance in our hour of need, that his mercy is seeking to uh, hold us and to restore us to dignity if it has been lost. But then he also said Christ, in revealing the love, mercy of God, at the same time demanded from people that they also should be guided in their lives by love and mercy. Blessed are the merciful, they shall obtain mercy. And so we ourselves, who are the, be- who have, are the beneficiaries of mercy, of God's goodness toward us, of his giving us his grace, of restoring our dignity through his grace, that we too then must be instruments of that mercy to others, to help them to recover their lost dignity and to discover anew uh, the love of God for each one of them. So may the Lord bless our shepherds as they prepare to uh, elect a future Holy Father for, our, for the Church. And may we all be instruments of reconciliation and mercy to the world.
Panem de cielo praestitis diegis. Oremos. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili, passionis tuae memoriam reliquisti, tribue quesumus, Ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ to God and to man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. Amen.